Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Simone for those of you that don't know me and today I'm going to do a full face using only essence products. So um, yes, as most of you know that a lot of these products um, you should have seen um, quite a few times on my videos or on my channel. Um, some of these products are literally part of my everyday routine and that I use constantly when I'm doing my makeup so I do love a lot of these products and then some of the products I had to go buy um, this weekend which is sort of like a first impressions and let me tell you you guys I'm literally blown away by a lot of these products um, I mean some of them retails for 40 Rand um, and then they perform exactly like um, high-end products perform so my mind is literally blown away so I'm very very excited that I got my hands on these products and um, yes to actually use them a bit more um, I know a lot of these are literally I'm just gonna throw in my makeup bag that I will literally use non-stop for the next um, coming weeks because it's just so good so yes I'm really really impressed with um, Essence um, as I said I don't know how they create products um, for this cheap and then it literally performs so so good um, yes but if you want to see how I achieve this look right here using only Essence products then please keep on watching okay so as I've said in some of my previous videos that I don't always um, wear or use a primer but I do like going in either with my setting spray or with like a primer spray so the one I'm going to use today is this Essence Prime Plus Studio HD Hydra Primer Spray this one right here this is infused with coconut water and you I'm sure you have seen this previously on my channel this is truly one of my most favorite um, primer or setting spray. So I usually prefer to do my eyebrows before I do anything else on my face. So today I'm going to use this Essence Micro Precise Eyebrow Pencil. Um, so it's this product right here. This is a new eye, um, eyebrow pencil to me. Um, this is in the shade 03 Dark Brown and this is the, supposed to be waterproof and long lasting. So my holy grail at the moment is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 06. So I just want to quickly show you um, the difference in color. So I'm a bit scared of the essence color. I think it might be too, too light. Oh, I actually don't know let's see I don't know if you can actually see the difference so this one is the essence one and this is the benefit precisely my brow um, color um, there's actually not a big difference I was scared that the essence one is going to be too brown because my hair are literally almost black and very dark I don't like it when your eyebrow hairs are darker than the shade pencil you are actually using. It doesn't look nice to me at all. So, but I do think the color is very similar. Um, so yes, I'm just gonna quickly do my eyebrows off camera, then I'll be right back. Okay, so I know I look a little crazy right now, but I've just finished doing my eyebrows off camera, and then all I did was I used this Essence Camouflage ma Camouflage Matte Concealer in the shade hmm, 10 Light Rose, this one right here, um, and then I've also set the concealer. But let me tell you, you guys, um, I did not expect this brow pencil to be as good as how it is um, this is literally it applied exactly the same as to my as how my benefit one applies um, and the color is like exactly the same that I normally would use so we are off to such a great start I'm literally so impressed and um, the only thing that I can fault this product is it doesn't have a spoolie so it's like difficult I had to use uh, like a spoolie to you know brush out my eyebrows 
Um, but yes, everything else, this is truly incredible brow pencil and it's like literally I think like 40 Rand. So it's so inexpensive and it works so good. Um, I will just see how long it lasts on my um, face. But yes, I'm so impressed and I'm so happy that I found this brow pencil. And then today for foundation, I'm going to use this Essence Hashtag Insta Perfect Liquid Foundation. I'm using the shade 30 Funny Ivory. Um, it's this one right here. So this is not new to me. I have used it before and it's definitely not um, full coverage. I had to apply quite a lot of layers, but it yes, it does say it has buildable coverage, which is true. Um, then the last thing I just wanted to say, I can probably go one shade darker, so I can use shade 14, um, because this one is very light, but I can make it work, I can just um, warm it up with a little bit of bronzer and so on, but I do like this foundation, as I said, I've used it multiple times, um, if I build it up, then um, I do get like the maximum cover coverage that I prefer. Okay, so this is about one layer of the foundation. As you can see, some of the redness of my pimples are still peeking through. So, um, yes. But this is, I literally used like one drop and it, in, it covered my entire face. So it does go a long way, like a, a small amount. But I'm just gonna take another drop and then do my second layer of foundation, then that should be fine. And then once again, I look like a ghost, but I do prefer rather using a lighter foundation, which you can always bronze up instead of going with a too dark foundation and then it completely dismatch your, your neck or your shoulders. So next for concealer, I'm going to use again the Essence Camouflage Matte Concealer. This is also supposed to be waterproof. So yes, I'm just going to apply this under my eyes. It has a very thick consistency. Um, it says this is an ultra covering liquid concealer with a matte finish. Covers instantly dark circles, blemishes and tattoos. It's supposed also to be long lasting and waterproof. So let's see under my eyes, down my nose here on the sides, on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow and then my chin. Okay, so now I'm just going to blend this out using my beauty sponge and then I'll go ahead and set my face.
So now I'm going to set my under eyes and the rest of my face using the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. You have seen this multiple times on my channel and I truly love this powder. Um, it says that you should use this for baking, so meaning um, like under your eyes, on your forehead, everywhere we are basically highlighted with my concealer, that's um, where you, were, you are supposed to use this powder. But I actually do use this powder to set my entire face. I don't know why, I love the way that it looks. Um, it's really a very, very nice powder. As you can see, I'm literally... <laughs> almost through the entire pan. So yes, before I set my under eyes, I'm just going to make sure all my creases are blended out and then I'm going to set it using that powder. Okay, so I have noticed that this concealer creases quite fastly. So um, I'm just trying to set it nicely <laughs> and work fast with it because it does settle into my fine lines quite quite a lot um but it's okay i mean it's not the end of the world as long as you set it with powder like a lot of powder it does um it does increase anymore And then another product that I'm sure you have seen multiple times on my channel is this Essence Mattifying Compact Powder in the shade 50 True, true, uh, 50 true Caramel. Um, yes, I truly love this um, powder and I love using it as bronzer. It does apply beautifully and just perfect so um yes you don't always have to buy a bronzer you can always just maybe buy a darker shade of powder if you do like the formula and then just use it as bronzer And then another product that I know you've, you have also seen me use is this um, Essence Matte Touch Blush in the shade 20 Berry, Berry Me Up, which is a beautiful pink berry-ish shade. Um, I've truly really fell in love with this color of blush and um, the last few weeks I love reaching to colors like that. Um, I always, before I fell in love with this blush, I used to use the Essence Matte Touch Blush in the shade 10 Peach Me Up, so which is obviously a little bit more peachy, but recently, as I said, um, I've truly love, fell in love with more berry-ish um, shades. And then I'm just going to use this Avon brush that you also have seen me use previously. Um, this has truly been my blush brush for the last five years, maybe. Um, this is the only, br um, bl the only brush that I use for blush. And then I'll just start um, like bouncing my brush up and down. And then another new product to me is this Essence Glow To Go Highlighting Palette, which looks like this. I've heard a lot of good reviews about this little palette. This is the sh in the shade 10 Sun Kissed Glow. So this palette says, um, 
This highlighter palette gives you a radiant, fresh and sun-kissed complexion. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to use the first two shades, the more goldeny and pinky one, and then I'm just going to mix them together using like a what this is the Morphe M510 brush, which is just a big sort of fluffy blending br um, brush. Um, I also fell in love using this brush for my highlighting. It truly just applies my highlighter beautifully. So yes, I'm just gonna you um I'm just gonna mix these two shades, and then let's see. Okay, so I've just quickly finished off my eyes off camera. Um, the one light that I normally use, which will last me an entire video, just died on me, so I had to put it on charge a little bit. So I'm gonna try to hurry up um, and see if I can finish as fast as possible, because um, this has never happened to me before. But yes, on my eyes, I just literally used the um, bronzer and the blush that I've used for the video today so these two products and then um, I basically just um, applied it all over my crease I just blended the two shades and then on my lid as well and then I bought this palette quite a while ago and then I've I bought these three shades, I don't know why, they are so random. And then I used this brown just to smoke out my lower lash line and then my upper lash line as well. And then I used the glow to go highlighter palette to just highlight my inner corners. And then lastly, which is also a new product to me, is this Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara this clear one right here. I think I've actually used this before and um, maybe like when I was like maybe going to high school. So um, I don't remember if I did like this or not um, but for now it is sort of new to me um, and it did quite well of setting my brows. I think it's perfectly set down but I will see how it lasts on my eyebrow because as I've said in previous videos my holy grail at the moment is once again the benefit ready set brow um bro brow gel which is also a clear gel but this literally does it, my brows doesn't move the entire day so um let's see I'm gonna see how this lasts on my brows and then yes and then um, I also, hold on one second, I also um, went ahead and applied mascara. This is the Essence All Eyes On Me Multi Effect Mascara. This is so inexpensive. I think um, this is like the least expensive mascara that Essence have. Um, I actually went like through all of the uh, mascaras that they have like a quite big range of mascaras and I think this is like the least expensive mascara and it truly it works so well on my lashes um it always have been I think this is like my maybe my third or fourth bottle and it doesn't um dry too fast um so this lasts me such a long time um <laughs> Yes, yeah, sorry. Um, this truly does last me a very, very long time. And yes, I will continue buying this mascara over and over again. Yes. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the final part of my face, which is lips. I'm going to use this Essence Draw the Line Insta Color Lip Liner. Um, this is in the shade. 8 Eternal Beauty which is like a pinky shade and then 
I used lip gloss maybe when I was still in primary school last um, it's just a thing that I've never actually liked on my lips I doesn't I don't like it when my lips feel sticky or anything like that but I was very excited to try this um, lip gloss this is the essence shine 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 wet look lip gloss um, it's this one right here and this is in the shade hmm let me see I have no idea what shade this is Oh well, it's just like, I don't know how to explain to you guys, I don't know if you can actually see, it's like a orangey, goldeny, browny type of gloss, <laughs> I don't know if it makes sense, it's very very nice, so yes, let me see how this turns out. Okay then lastly, once again, I'm just going to use the Essence Prime Plus Studio HD Hydra Primer Spray. This one right here. Okay everyone, this concludes today's video. Um, as I've said multiple times throughout the video, I'm completely blown away by a lot of this a lot of these products For example, the one I think that blew my mind the most is this brow pencil um, Yes, I'm very excited to use this again um, I do think you will go through this pencil quite fast because I did use quite a lot I saw I had to t um, turn it quite a lot to get to um, use the product but yes um, it's like 40 Rand and it's so so good I will see if I can link all the prices down below I don't remember all the prices of these products and then the second product that actually also impressed me quite a lot a lot was the Essence Glow to Go Highlighter Palette this is very very nice and also so inexpensive um, and it also performs so so good and then the third one which is also quite good which um, I also like a lot is the Essence Camouflage Matte Concealer this one right here um, it didn't blew my mind as much as the previous two products but I do see myself using this quite a lot in the future so I'm so I'm very very happy with these three products and then as I've said a lot of the other products that I've uh, mentioned in the video is actually already part of my everyday routine um, the lip gloss um, I'm gonna have to um, use a few more times but I do like the look of lip gloss it just makes your lips look so juicy and nice so I'm very excited to come in the lip gloss trend again and then yes once again this concludes today's video um, it was so so fun to film this video and I'm excited to do a excited to do a lot more of these videos in the near future but yes if you did like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and then yes do leave me a comment and then i will see you guys in next week's video so yes i hope you guys have a lovely week and then yes